What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Do we have a new best shoe for healthcare workers? I just bought the newest shoe all healthcare workers are talking about and today we're gonna unbox them, take a look, put them through the run and walk test and I'm gonna tell you if they're worthy of the new top spot or just another hyped up shoe. But before we do that, please show some support by hitting the like button and subscribing. All right, let's get to it. All right, here they are. So today we have the Hoka Bondi 8s. So I got these directly from the Hoka site this time and uh, I really like their return policy. You can wear them or do whatever you want with them for 30 days, so I figured why not. All right, so here you go. These look right off the bat so much better than the last version that came out. They're not as bulky and nerdy looking and I'll show you what I mean in a second because I actually have on the Hoka Bondi 7s, the one that came right before this on right now. So here we go. So here's the 7s, here's the 8s. You can absolutely see what I'm talking about. Uh, these 7s, I don't know what they were doing with the design here. I more so wore these because they were comfortable and cushioned, but these are a lot more with what looks good right now and actually uh, a little bit stylish. Um, so again, yeah, I like these old ones, but I really thought they looked a little too nerdy, honestly. And these just look much more sleek. So let's take a look at what they said changed on these. So according to Hoka, it is upgraded with an extended heel, uh, brand new foam, and a pillowed tongue. So compared with the old one, you can see that pillowed tongue they were talking about. On the old one, it's it's definitely thinner. And then the extended heel, that has to do with a lot more of, of why I think they look better. Because if you look at the last one, they're just sort of flat back here. And here they, they pop out a bit. I'm not sure in terms of utility if that makes a difference, but it definitely looks a lot nicer. So again, these look absolutely great compared to the old ones, but let's see how they stack up when running and walking. Alright, so, I think these are great. They're a little stiff since they're new. I remember when I first got the Bondi 7s, they felt a little stiff at first because this uh, cushion back here sort of has to break in. But I can tell these are fantastic shoes. Uh, when running and walking, they had a lot of cushion. They felt extremely comfortable. Like I said, they look better than the Bondi 7s and they feel a little bit better to be honest. They have some uh, more cushioning back here and just a more comfortable feel overall. So, not sure I would give these a 10 out of 10, but pretty close to it. Now, are they the best shoes in healthcare right now? So, you can check out my other video where I talk about the Clifton 8, and I think it depends on the type of healthcare worker you are. So, I think these are perfect if you are kind of standing around in uh, one spot or not moving too much throughout your day. And when it comes to the Clifton 8, I think they're better if you're walking around a lot during your day. Um, so honestly, right now they're about a tie to me. They're both up there at the top. Definitely worth $165. You have to invest in your feet and how you'll feel at the end of the day will definitely pay off. So yeah, these are great shoes. I really like them a lot. Let me know what you guys think down below. In the meantime, if you like these scrubs, check out my video on the best scrubs for healthcare workers and let me know what you think there. Also, check out my first video on the Clifton 8s. You can compare the run and you know you can you can kind of see how much the sole compresses in each one it's, you can see what i'm talking about how the clifton 8s might be a little more responsive and these are more plush so it kind of will depend on your taste but again this and the clifton 8 
right now are the top shoes for healthcare workers. Thank you guys so much for watching. Catch me in the next video. Please comment what shoes you think I should review in the future or any other healthcare hacks you guys might have that you want me to review or talk about. Uh, there you have it. That's a review, guys. I'll leave the link for these Bondi 8s down in the description, so make sure you click that.